Hello, my name is Micah Edelson, and I'm a research student in Professor Dudai's lab in the Neurobiology Department in the Weizmann Institute. Together with our collaborators in uh, the University College in London, Professor Dolan and Dr. Sharot, we, in this study, were interested in seeing how social influence can create false memories. In order to create false memories, we had small groups view a film together, and they were subsequently asked questions about the film content, and they also rated their confidence levels. Then we tried to change their answers by exposing them to information given by their fellow co-observers, the people that saw the film with them, their group members. And um, we did that while scanning an fMRI. Finally, we removed the social influence, and we tested the subjects again to see which false memories lasted over a long period of time. Remarkably, what we find is that on almost 70% of the time, participants change their correct answer to incorrect answer, even though they were relatively confident initially um, in their correct answer. And we find that in around 40% of uh, these cases, uh, the memory or the false memory that was implanted is long-lasting and remains uh, over a period of over uh, one week. And we see that we can identify such false memories using that fMRI data by um, a heightened coactivation of two brain regions, the amygdala and the hippocampus. The hippocampus is a region that's known to uh, play a major part in memory-related processes, and uh, the amygdala is a core component of the emotional, social network in the brain. And we find that the way that these two regions interact will determine if um, uh, social influence will actually create false memories.